uh, to tell us a little bit more about um, what those solutions are going to look like and what are the plan is to sort of move us forward with that, I would like to introduce uh, Mr. John Delk, Vice President of Product Management and Marketing with NetIQ. Uh, John, come on up. Hey, Jim. Nice to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, good morning, and it's my privilege to come out and share a little bit more about where we're headed with our solutions. Thanks to Jeff and Kevin for that great setup, and I uh, hope that prompted some thoughts in your head about where your organization or the organizations in your industry are headed. Uh, we're going to use the metaphor of identity-powered solutions to kind of walk through a little journey here. And let me start 18 months ago. When we were on stage 18 months ago here at BrainShare, we were talking about the forces that were driving change. And these forces have been causing all of us to adjust the way that we deliver solutions uh, internally and externally in our organizations uh, because cloud and mobility and big data and social are uh, relevant to almost every industry at almost every level. And so last BrainShare, we talked to you about solutions delivered at the speed of business. Now what that meant for us is we were going to be laser focused on lowering the overall TCO and make sure that we could get our products positioned to meet those forces. And I'm proud to say that we've made great strides on that journey and every single release that's occurred over the last 18 months has some aspect of delivering value at the speed of business. We've taken products and shrunk their footprint into appliance form factors. We've focused on currency and scalability and smaller server footprints. We've added things that simplify installation and allow you to get value quicker. And so that 18 months ago journey that we started, we want to continue here and talk about what's happening in our industry today. The reality is if you boil it down, there's a fundamental challenge. It really does boil down for most of us how open and convenient can we make things for our user community and our businesses and to be competitive in a very, very competitive industry and market space, while at the same time managing the risk and the compliance and the regulatory environments that many of you operate in. And that fundamental balance is very tricky. And it changes in some cases and in some industries literally almost daily. And yet as IT professionals, as customers and partners of NetIQ, this is what we're committed to helping you achieve is the right balance. Because you see, if you err on one side or the other, you get in a very dangerous place, right? If you err on the side of locking things down and you feel really good about being compliant, the reality is your users are probably going around you and creating shadow IT. And on top of that, compliant really doesn't equal being secure. And so hanging out in that space too much and too hard is a great danger. On the other hand, if you stay open and flexible and yet yeah, everybody can do everything and we need to be nimble, you run the risk of not being able to secure the critical information and assets of your company. And so this is a journey. And we think there's four aspects to this journey that you'll hear us focus on over and over again. First, the business enablement. It really is about how users get access to the right information at the right time in as frictionless a way as possible. They just want to do their work. And you're in a position where you need to enable them to do their work. In addition to that, there's a whole set of responsiveness and agility factors that organizations uh, need to be able to deliver because the pace of change is only accelerating. And when you think about some of the use cases that Jeff and Kevin just told us, we're really going to be challenged in our IT infrastructures to be responsive and to be agile. And so we want to help you do that. 
But at the same time, we want to make sure that we recognize that you live and work in structures that require management and visibility. You, you're responsible for service levels. You have to deliver performance. And so our solutions need to help you do that in very meaningful ways. And last but not least, we need to be right on top of this question of how do I deliver the corporate industrial grade security that my industry and my company requires. And so those four factors are driving our product vision and shaping the way that we think about taking NetIQ in the future. Now Jeff asked a simple question, who are you? I happen to have a friend who works for a company that is very focused in this consumer device space. And of course, this isn't a who are you question, this is a what are you question. And he starts describing to me, John, you wouldn't believe every single uh, device that goes out now has multiple sensors in it, and these things are gonna phone home multiple times a day and report health and give us diagnostics and share information about uh, these consumer devices. And he said, we're just not, we're not ready for this. We're working on things on the back end, and yet every time we do sizing estimates on this, they come back and tell us there's gonna be thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands more of these in a very rapid uh, cycle and a very quick time. And he said, so we keep talking about throwing hardware at it. But the reality is throwing hardware at it doesn't solve the problem. It's a much more complicated problem than that because what really it is, it's an infrastructure fabric problem. It's a question of how you think about your databases and your platforms and your directories and your applications and where you're gonna land relative to the cloud. All of those things are gonna be challenged with this Internet of Things model. Now the good news to this is that we have solutions that are pointed right at this space. The market is moving in our direction. The challenges that he was drawing on the back of a napkin are the same challenges that you guys have been solving. In the data center, our solutions help people with operations management, with monitoring and visibility and meeting SLAs. And, and so those solutions are very relevant for not only what's here today, but what's coming. And on top of that, we have the power of identity. And it really is the power of identity. As you start to think about the fabric that you all have built and, in, and, and implemented in your infrastructure, and as we think about the journey that we're on with our solutions, we're going to continue to double down on use cases that are identity-driven and identity-centric. And we're going to continue to innovate around our core identity management product because that's at the heart of the challenge that you heard Cisco describe that, that we're going to be facing. And so as you think about where we're going with identity management, you'll think about us trying to address who and what use cases. The good news is we've already been doing that. And many of you for years have had objects in your identity management infrastructure that were not people, they were devices or things. And so we're gonna to continue to look at how we can uh, deliver the right footprints and form factors to address that who plus what challenge. In addition, we're gonna take that identity metaphor and carry it into our access management solutions around this theme of identity-powered access. If you think about it, what we're trying to achieve is, is a balance between tight integration and loose coupling. If you're a social media person, you can try hashtagging that out in the, uh, in the dark here, okay? Tight integration and loose coupling. What do I mean by that? We want to compete head-on-head -head individually with our products. Standalone, every time we think we can win a good percentage of those and we think they del deliver value. But the real power of what NetIQ brings to the table is when we find those use cases that require a special set of integration 
like identity-powered access, and we deliver to you pre-integrated combinations of those solutions that solve real business and IT problems. We know you could do it yourselves, but what we're saying is, let us solve those business and IT problems in a way that gets you a quicker time to value and delivers value at the speed your business needs. And so in the access space, you'll continue to see innovation around taking the context of who the user is and continuing to drive different ways of scoring and, and looking at risk so that we can provide access in a different manner depending on that who or what we call identity-powered access. We're also going to be focused on identity-powered security. And I'm pleased that we were able to talk to you about the announcement with Cisco, and that's just a part of this idea of injecting the identity, the who, in combination with the what, and being able to uh, provide more context and a smarter ability to weed through all the mass of security information that you have and to end up with quicker resolution and a stronger security posture against threats. And so this idea of tight integration but loose coupling is where we're headed with our product portfolio.